We're at Kangaroo Valley, New South Wales, checking up on the resident colony of endangered brush-tailed rock wallabies. Jess and Lauren from Saving Our Species in New South Wales National Parks look after this colony, along with volunteers and a local community group called Friends of the Brush-tailed Rock Wallaby. The crew are trapping the wallabies, and these traps are checked every morning, afternoon, and some are checked again after dark. We have these brush-tailed rock wallabies to help us with their ongoing monitoring and to collect genetic samples to contribute to the statewide genetic program. And also at this site, we're looking at um, juvenile dispersal as well, and so we're looking to find some younger individuals to collar and to track them to see where they go. On this particular afternoon, all of the traps were empty, which could have been because of the wind, but we still managed to spot a brushy catching some afternoon sun. We head out again after dark to check the traps that are close to our cabin. Luckily, the wind has dropped and two of the traps have wallabies. The first wallaby is a male called Magic who has a bit of a rep for getting a free feed in the traps and then waiting patiently for his release. The second wallaby is Rocket. While not one of the young males we were after, Rocket isn't microchipped, so the crew take this opportunity to get that done and take some genetic samples, then send her on her way. The next morning we're up at dawn and stoked to see two more wallabies have made their way into the traps overnight. Nice. The first is another recaptured female, but this is always handy so we can keep track of their health and note any injuries. Then finally, in one of the last traps of the morning, we hit the jackpot. A27. Are you joking? No. CA27? Oh my god. Which one is that? It's Yolonga. Yolonga. <laughs> yes. Yolonga is one of the young boys the crew were keen to radio collar. They ensure the collar is a perfect fit, not too tight, but not too loose and it'll photo. fall off after a predetermined amount of time. Radio tracking brush tail rock wallabies helps us better understand how these young males disperse across the landscape as they mature. 